Howdy y'all around the wheel here. You're watching Jazz Jackrabbit playing through it for its 30th anniversary. And today we move on to episode six, which is really the finale of the game. The game, the core game is episodes one through six. And they kind of tacked on A, B, and C for the CD-ROM. We'll play those, of course, but six is like the final chapter, the final clash, return of the jazz eye, if you will. Don't think I forgot about the Star Wars pun uh, or the Star Wars play on the title here. We're in Pez Rock, very prehistoric looking, but also kind of futuristic looking. These trees look very fake. All right, let's see if we can just make a good run for it. Maybe, perhaps, I don't know. Okay, big spike balls swinging around. Very, very neat looking. There tends to be a very uniform look to maces in video games, but those have a bit of a, those have a bit of a, I remember that little run right there. I remember pondering over that for hours and hours, like how do I get there? And then finally I just ran it one day. But yeah, those, those swinging, the spikes are very, I like how, I like how non-uniform they are. Pretty cool, pretty cool looking to me actually. All right, no need of that, but I guess we're grabbing one anyway because we're ducking into a hole because we're all big weenies. Okay, so anything up? Nope, that's just a singular hole. What's... Oh, hey, hi. That's not good. We want to hang on to our hits for as long as possible because the game is getting markedly harder as it would happen. I'm actually mostly afraid of enemies at this point, pretty well and truly... Pretty well and truly scared, senseless, spitless, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna be scared completely out of. Yeah, just lay down that covered fire. That's how you gotta do it. Okay, let's make sure we're not. Oh god, that was almost really terrible. Falling into a, falling into a disastrous situation. We want to look before we leave. The game is getting pretty. Can you kill the? I've never thought about killing these things. I guess I could just sit here and rapid fire until it dies. Seems to take a lot of hits, though. I don't think I've ever actually tried this. You can, can you kill these things? It seems like that would not be the best use of your time. This is taking many, 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 many shots. I mean, you can hit it. It's an object you can hit, but it doesn't seem like it's an object that dies ever. Whoa, and some of them swing very fast. The timing is not great. Okay. There you go. Bop up into there. Sometimes you can catch it on a high bounce. That's exactly what I was counting on there. What's what's over here? Is this the way? Yum. No, it is not, but we might have a stash of carrots we can use later. Okay. Okay, this is gonna take some... Okay, good. There we go. Okay, this level is not so bad so far. I guess being the first episode, or the first level, the first world of an episode, it's not going to crush us so far. That was a damage boost. That was a pro strat. That's that's what all the speedrunners use. I damage boosted past that. That was that was totally on purpose. It was totally purpose on me on me to do it right the first time and not the second. Obviously. I mean, have you ever watched me play a video game? I mean, geez. Okay, what's down the way here? Looks like if we want to know what's down here, we're gonna have to toss in some launchers. There we go. Make that a safe drop. Oh, okay. Not a safe drop at all, it turns out. Well, here we are. Here we are at ground level, and that's about as far as we're going to get with... Well, we could do the getting over it thing. It's not that difficult. There we go. Okay, up top here. That is some smooth platform animation. And you can just walk right onto it, and then, you know, of course, immediately get knocked into a hole, because that's how this game do. Okay, I don't want to get launched up into spikes. Is that going to happen? Absolutely it will. The game feels no compunction about that sort of thing whatsoever. Okay, now I need to look into pits. See if they got any carrots stowed away in a pit. Nope, it looks like spikes all the way down. Okay, we've got, yep, more spikes. I think this is about the time when there's a, yeah, there's something upward. Hey, invincibility. I'll take it. I'll take it. We'll make a run for it. We'll make a run, make a break for Andy's house. Let's go, let's do it. They're gonna move from their house in two days and it's all your fault. Yes, we did it. We only got about half the items, but we're gonna get a full energy bar back. Thank you very much. Pez Rock level two, let's hit it. All right. Man, wait a minute. 
I was just thinking about Toy Story. That turns 30 years old next year. Okay, I can no longer, I'm at a point where I can no longer accept reality as it is. Thank you for just spawning like that uh, little clamshell flying saucer dude. Can I make that jump? Surely I can. Okay, I was gonna say if the angle is right, I bet I can make that. Just for some, just for some ammo that I'll have to collect all over again if I die. How do you get you, Mr. One-Up? That is a crazy one-up face. One-up, you so silly. Let's go ahead and I saw some rapid fire. So at least I know if I die, I'll be able to get some of that back. Won't be quite as fast, but yeah, this place is way overpopulated with these saucer guys. Okay, I've got a pretty good spread I can lay down. Not that, uh, not that I can make the most use of it going uphill. Let's see if anything failed to spawn, okay? There we go, yeah. I should just be firing more or less constantly, especially if I'm only going to have the pea shooter out. Okay, I almost just jumped into that. that. God, yeah, they're just always coming from all directions. So terrible. Nothing. Okay, just, just stars. Just me, just me and a knight out under the stars. Let's lay out the blanket. Just make sure there are no springboards under it. Hello. Okay, if we go above, is there any benefit to going above? Yeah, uh, getting to progress in the level. That's that's generally considered a good thing. Okay. All right, some of that. And a little of this. Wow, boy. You don't have much time to you don't have much time to pull up on the on the brakes at all. There we go. Excellent. Oh yeah, the oh oh, it's way up here. Well, in that case, I feel like we're going to be getting an airboard. Okay, well, we get invincibility, but I feel like there's an airboard in this level. Yeah, there it is. First of all, let's clear all you guys out. I don't know that I've ever collected that one up. I'm not even sure if I knew it was there. I bet I did. I probably just getting old and don't remember things. Okay, we can be a little reckless for a little bit. Okay, we can no longer be reckless. We no longer have invincibility okay we got to do this just right because as we have seen when you get knocked back on an airboard it knocks you way back i think we saw that in the in the tur temple the turtle temple the temple of the turtles okay yeah thank you for leading me into this secret passageway of stars that was very brilliant of you thank you you've given away the whole master plan you silly clamshell saucer. Okay, am I gonna lose this anytime soon? Not, doesn't appear to be. I don't appear to be losing it. I like this little dark underground area. Okay, I see checkpoint. I don't know that I want the shoe. Okay, I've come underground. I've gone as far as I can go with that. Well, you know what, we're doing it anyway. Oh, that's gonna be a trip. I hope I don't get to the spikes before the, well we can just skip all that i suppose yeah you are incapacitated for a little bit of a moment there okay i know fast is bad too fast is bad rather fast is not bad on its own and this game is usually very nice with like fast areas okay well it kept the fast music though the music continues to be sped up okay that's weird. That's a weird glitch. I mean, it's not affecting the gameplay any. Thank you. Thank you for the carrot boost. Thanks for the likes, subscribers, and carrots. If you want to support my career as a VTuber, please continue sending carrots. Okay, yeah. We, we get the idea now. They're going to be coming up from below. Okay, so... And this is just going to be weird angles where it's like, just, just lay down the spread. Lay down a spread of coverage. Okay, this seems like the way to actually go, so we're gonna go up here and grab some, okay, yeah. All right, another underground tunnel. These actually, I was gonna say, these actually seem easier to deal with, but the rhythm is not satisfying. Ooh, 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 yeah. Hey, oh, hey, wow, I've been so busy concentrating on surviving, I forgot about the possibility of bonus levels. Yeah, gotta be looking out for those as well. Okay. 
I feel pretty good at this point. Are we gonna get... Uphill usually leads to an exit, and yeah, no exception there. Anything secret in the wall? I don't really care. All right, there we go. 95 and 95, we did a lot better that time. Bonus level one. Running down the green road. The green rabbit running down the green road. Collecting green gems. No, wait, blue gems. There's no... I don't know. Is there any green and blue? I don't know my RGB very well. My RGB or my CMYK or my anything like that. If I have to do anything in Adobe, I just Google it instantly. Anything to deal with color, I don't think much about it. Or anything to do with any kind of function in Google, really. Is there going to be an exit sign at the end of this long parade? Because we got to be careful with that. Another open field. Interesting. Okay, so we can go here from here. But can we go there from there? Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. You never know when you're gonna run into instant death. By which I mean just ejection from the premises. So, so if we go past that. You have pretty free movement. I always did like that about the bonus levels. Pretty free movement, pretty free lives. See y'all next time.